Oh, whoo! I'll tell you, the top of this has got a scent, and it's not not so much there. Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's the sweet spot. Yep, smell that bear. Join the team. Hey team, this is the McGuire Review, and today we got something very special from Dog Mites. Let's lock in and get ready to go. All right, as I said, we got something super special today, and it is the brand new Sentinel from Dog Mite. You can go to their website and check this out right now. Uh, it's up live on the website, and it is an awesome, awesome new product. I absolutely love this. It may be, I don't know, it's hard to say if it's one of the best things that uh, they've made so far, uh, because they are doing a great job with just the innovative stuff that they're making and the innovation that they're putting into their products. And that's why I like Dog Mite so much. It's just because everything that they make is just made so well. The craftsmanship is really good. As well, it is super robust and super functional, and it's got tons of different uses, and that's why we got these two products here out on the table that we're going to be taking a look at as well, just quickly to show how these things can be used together. Now, do remember that I have done a video recently on the Dragon Sheath as well as the Adventure Case. Go check that video out. I will put a link in the comments below. And we are currently running through the end of Gen Con. Don't miss out on this, guys. A giveaway for a Dragon Sheath. Not this one. This one is mine. But you will be able to win one of these Dragon Sheaths. Got to hit that subscribe, comment below on that video and you'll be able to get one of these dragon seeds shipped to you for free and some customization done on it as well and these are awesome awesome products okay dice miniatures phenomenal stuff okay now bear and i are super proud to be able to bring you a video on the brand new sentinel that we have here you'll see that it is a little bit smaller uh, than our adventure case as far as size so we'll put it right up there to the adventure case. You can see that it is a bit uh, smaller than it is because it has a very different function. Now, can this be used for a GM, DM? Absolutely it can, but this is probably more to transport board games, living card games, miniatures, dice, anything that you really need as a player. And before we get into it, what I want to show here is just the outside of it because it does really have a really good look on the outside. Now, mine is a custom one made in the African mahogany. This is not a product that's going to be offered in that wood. There are quite a few woods you'll be able to get for this product, but this is made in the African mahogany to match my adventure case here. And I will say that they are a little bit of a different color. Uh, that's fine. Same grain, same wood. Again, it's a natural product, so each one of them are going to have a little bit of a color variation. You can see how that's made there, just a nice classic, simple wooden box, nothing really on the outside, just a beautiful, uh, beautifully finished wooden box. And then on the top, you can have the engravings that they offer. There's a number of these you'll be able to customize on the front of this box. Um, I went with this one here, which I think came out just absolutely looking phenomenal, that tree design. It's so awesome. I love I love the way this came out. The detail is is far better than what I actually expected. Uh, the detail is just absolutely phenomenal uh, on the front of this. Very very well done. Okay, let's get into this butte because this is where the magic happens. And again, ugh, those rare earth rare earth magnets. You really got to pry them apart and check that out. All right, so. Inside, you are going to get a number, a multitude, say that bear, a multitude of different options that you can put on the bottom and the top. Okay, so let's set this aside here for a second. The bottom is going to offer tons of different options. And again, just like we saw with our dragon sheets, the inside is going to have that wood engraving there to give you kind of that dragon scale type look. Uh, or that leather-esque type look on the inside. But again, all done still in the wood. I'm glad they went with that approach versus putting in some type of insert. Just that natural wood looks awesome in there, all lacquered and stained up. And you're going to be able to get tons of options. I went with what's called a double on the bottom, where you get one smaller uh, kind of card-style chamber 
um, you can put whatever you want in here. And that's the beauty of this. You can customize it. If you want to put some miniatures, you can put a little foam insert in there and put some miniatures there. You can put more dice there. you got areas here to put decks of cards, pencils, more dice, more miniatures. If you want to put a foam pad insert in that, just get you some simple pluck foam. There's just so many options. And that's why I went with the double bottom because it was a little more open. Now, I will say they offer a triple, they offer one that's six, they offer one that looks like a honeycomb that's more for just holding custom dice. There's tons of them. Go check it out on the website. You can see all the different customization options you can go with. So you can customize this box. You can get a couple of these boxes and customize them specific for certain board games you want to travel with, customize them for certain games, RPGs that you might want to go with, and you need a specific layout. That's the beauty of these. You can go with one that's more general where you can kind of mix and match what you want to use it with, or you can get multiple ones of these and have them for different games. Uh, and that would be pretty awesome as well. I could only imagine having, you know, four or five of these sort of stacked up on a shelf all bookcase style where each one was designed for a different game. Now, that would be cool. All right, so there's the bottom. I'll set that up there so you can continue to take a look at that. And that's the double again. And then on the top... I went with a single slot here where I will be p placing probably some writing materials. I'll put a dry erase marker in there. I'll put a pencil in there. Uh, probably put a little cloth to wipe in there, wipe off the, the plexiglass. You may not be able to tell, but there's an actual piece of plexiglass that's on the front of this that holds everything on the top secure in place. And then I went with the five slot bottom, which I thought looked really cool. These dice do not come with it. These are my dice that I just put in here for an example to show. And you can put all kinds of different things if you go with this style of setup. You can put dice, you can put miniatures, you could put tokens, you could put meeples, coins, whatever you wanted to down in those five slots. I just thought this was a good design for me personally for what I would be wanting to use this particular case for. Now, this is where this case gets really cool is where you got a little a little thumb spot right here and again rare earth magnets holds that on you can pop that little piece of plexiglass off and then get to everything that's inside and again it holds it nice and secure which i thought was uh, pretty awesome that they designed it this way versus uh, maybe like a wood uh, slider i really like the use of this piece of plexiglass because not only does it hold it in place but this is going to dub as a writing uh, surface as well. So when you're playing games, whether you're a player uh, or a DM, you can pop that back in place and you can do dry erase marking right on top of this shield. Uh, you know, depending on what you're playing, each one of these spots could be like a different thing that you're marking off. I mean, there's a number, you can get super creative with this. And, and that's why I like this product so much is because it has so many different customized options that you can build it out with. It's going to give you that ability um, to use this in so many different ways. So I, I like that. Anything I can find that's got that really robust feel to it, all the better. That is super awesome. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. Now, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to show you. Uh, and again, the top, just like the bottom, tons of different customized insert uh, carved out options you can go with for either one of these. Now, here's the beauty of these three products. Okay, And this is what I would think about as a customer, as a consumer, when you go to their website and you look at all these different products because they do have a lot of different options to go with. So, you know, what do you buy? Do you, do you just buy this? Do you buy this? Do you buy this? Right? I think it could be different depending on what you're trying to accomplish. But the Dragon Sheath is really more of that small sort of portability I'm a player, I don't need much, maybe a pencil, some dice, and a single miniature, you're probably going to want to go with the Dragon Sheath. Small form factor is going to carry everything you need to carry as a player. Uh, that's probably going to be the option that you're probably going to want to go with. Let's say that you're a player, even a GM, DM, whatever you want to say there. I like DM actually better myself, it's more a uh, little bit old school. But let's say you're a DM, you could take this and you could use this as a DM. 
if you're just running some light, simple stuff, you don't really need a shield. I mean, you know what? I guess you could kind of set this up like this and have somewhat of a little bit of a shield. Um, yeah, even it's even the right way, that looks great. And have somewhat of a shield. Uh, you could do that if you didn't have players sort of crowded your, around you. Uh, so that's an option. Or if it's something you didn't need to really hide, you just needed to bring some materials, you could do that. Tuck a little paper, so, uh, you know, a small book down into here, all your writing devices, miniatures, dice, anything that you would need for that session. Definitely can use it for that perspective. I feel like this is really more for the player. You want to transport those LCGs, trading card games. You want to transport certain board games. Again, you can customize these for particularly what you are transporting. Or you just bring all your stuff as a player and you go with the setup that you think you can fit the most in. You get a setup where this whole entire box is open on either side. Or just do a double on either side and be able to customize it and pack stuff in however you want. Okay? And then you move on to something like the adventure case. This is full DMing, full GMing, right? Being able to open this case up and having the full open bottom, the open top, and then having those sides that come down and fully shield uh, what's going on kind of behind that. So you can see that all of these products can be used individually or you can really start to use these products as what I like to call um, sets, right? You can uh, use these two particular products together as a set and maybe you have your main kind of what's going on as a DM behind there and then you've got some extra bits and chits and things that you want stored. You can have this right here and then you also got the ability to have your, your writing so you can set that right like this and as you're playing as a player you can have your dice accessible right here to you you know in that tray uh, or in this tray and then you can be writing things for the player or yourself as a dm notes that you're going to need to keep track of maybe even you want to keep that hidden behind the screen and you can jot some notes down now, i will say that dogmite does offer another uh, more hardcore a GMing screen that's more of a larger kind of dice roller and it's got some some wood that comes up and shields it and there's some little tabs that are made of the plexiglass you can peg in the top that's more if you're playing um, a really deep game where the players need to see certain statuses that are in fact or uh, you know things things of that nature that you would want players to be able to see at all times. You might want to look at that particular product as well. You'll be able to find it right there on the website. They did do a Kickstarter on that one. But these two products, the Sentinel and the Adventure Case, work perfect together as a GMing DMing setup as well. Um, completely up to you as a player how you want to use these products. Uh, or again, if you don't really have the need for this. Uh, this adventure case, which you could use just as a player as well, uh, then you have this new fantastic product, the Sentinel. And again, I I'm going to have to say, they really, in my opinion, have done a fantastic job on this product. It seems like the more and more of these different types of offerings that they're coming out with, the better and better this stuff gets. I'll tell you, this one even, oh my god, it even smells... Oh, whoo, I'll tell you, the top of this has got a scent, and it's not not so much there. Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's the sweet spot. Yep, smell that bear. Yeah, that's the sweet spot. Whoo! All right, guys, that's it. The brand new Sentinel team, go check this out. You do not want to miss out on this product, specifically this product. You do not want to miss out. This is something that I think every gamer needs. And I, and I really, I really am saying that because I mean it because it's so highly robust and it's so highly functional. You can use it for just so much and it's super well made. This is a fantastic product. Go check it out on Dogmite Games. Their website link will be down below. And don't forget about the other video that we did on these two products. Doing that giveaway on the Dragon Sheath. You want to get in on that, guys. Awesome, awesome stuff, all right? So hit that like. Click the subscribe below to join the team. Roll them crits. This has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time. Let's go, Bear.